This is a quick repeatability test that I've worked up for Minecraft for Mindstorms. And um, what it is is there is a swing arm here that has two orange pointers on the end, and I'm filming it from a position that shows a black reference line behind the behind it. I've loaded a quick program to spin this arm 180 degrees and then back 10 times to see where the arm naturally stops spinning. It's a little bit tricky because as you can see there's a little bit of play in the Mindstorms motor. This is the uh, limit one degree one side and the other side there's a limit there. So there's a little bit of um, looseness in the connections and everything but I think you'll see um, when I start the test up that the amount of over over rotation on both directions is well beyond what you would see normally. Um, now this is running at the usual 75% motor strength that uh, Mindstorms has you running nor normally. Uh, let me r tweak the program and then try it a little bit slower to see if that doesn't improve things. So now I've tweaked the, the r test program to swing the arm at 25% speed instead of 75% speed. You can see that the looseness on the swing arm is still roughly centered around this. So let's see if um, rotating things a little bit slower does a, does a better job. And I think if you uh, compare the, the rotation of this test versus the rotation of the last time, I believe um, I will need to stop and test this from freeze frames, but it looks like with the motor rotating more, sm more slowly, you're still getting some overswing, um, but it doesn't seem to be as pronounced as the last time. I'm going to run this one more time with uh, 5 or 10% speed to see if that doesn't help things out even more. Now we have the same test program running at 10% speed. I tried this at 5% speed and the motor wasn't actually strong enough at that low power to swing the arm, so here goes 10.